happening right now. Demonstrators are holding a rally outside the White House to show their support for protesters calling for political change in Iran. These are live shots from outside the White House at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. There's dozens, maybe hundreds of people, as you can see, gathering uh, to bring attention to the anti-government protesters in Iran right now. Former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich and members of Congress are expected to join the, the rally later on. Uh, for more insight on this, I want to bring in Blaze Mishtal. He's the Director of National Security at the Bipartisan Policy Center based here in Washington. Blaze, what can you tell us about these protests. So these these are, are clearly protesters gathering in front of the White House, um, you know, to show support for the protesters in Iran. Do you know anything about who these folks are? Yeah, well, we do know that the, the protests are being organized by a political opposition group that has been expelled from Iran and has been active in Europe and the United States for a while now. Uh, and they have a lot of high-level supporters, Newt Gingrich being one of them. This is the uh, National Council of Resistance Assistance. of Iran, right? That's exactly right. Um, and so I think a large part of the people who are attending mm -hmm. are members of that organization and their supporters, Iranians that have fled the oppression of the regime. I imagine who are now here in who the are US. now here in the U.S. I imagine there are other Iranian Americans who also mm -hmm. support the general cause. Uh, of the protesters in Iran, as well as some Americans. Some Americans, and maybe folks from, you know, Washington, D.C., being yeah. the international city, it is fair to assume that there are folks from all over the world exactly. coming here, yeah. you know, in a show of solidarity. Yeah, and look, I mean, the White House is, I think, a, a focal point whenever we see these sorts of mass movements. Yeah. Uh, the White House is a place where people go to, to try to urge the United States uh, to, to step in in support of democracy. So now, the, the administration has been punching back hard against the Iranian regime this week. They issued new new rounds of sanctions, uh, called for an emergency meeting of the U.N. Security Council yesterday. The president and the State Department have been calling, um, calling for the reinstatement of social media inside Iran. He's been putting out public statements through the State Department all week. So I, I think it's fair to say, right, that the administration has chosen sides and they've decided to support the protesters. Do you think that is because they be the president believes this is the right thing to do, or do you think this is because he believes it's in U.S. strategic interests to do this, or some other reason? Both. Look, this Both. is one of those happy situations in which our interests and our values are aligned, right? We definitely have a strategic interest in getting Iran basically to stop doing everything it's doing, whether that's arming the Houthis and Hezbollah, whether that's uh, supporting Assad by killing civilians with barrel bombs and chemical weapons, uh, whether that's basically uh, imposing their will on Iraq or repressing their own people. We want them to stop all of that. Uh, and it so happens that these uh, these protests and the chance for change in Iran uh, bring a possibility of, of achieving that. Um, but even short of that, the attention the Iranian regime has to now pay to these protests, to dealing with them, potentially the concessions they have to make economically, they have to move maybe money away from what they spend on supporting terrorism and, and help support people at home. They might need to make political concessions as well, even if the regime stays in power. Uh, all those are things that are going to help address the strategic issues mm -hmm. that we have with Iran. Uh, but just as important on the value side, we stand for liberty and democracy and accountable government. Uh, and I think we, we want to see that come to Iran regardless of all the other issues that we have as well. You know, it's great when American interests align with foreign interests in moments like this. It's very fortuitous. Thanks for sharing your insight with us. We always love having you. And we'll have you back on soon. Thanks, Julian. Thanks, please.